In this video, I'll be showing how you can use this Shiny app that I created that allows you to generate Cordo Reveal.js themes using generative AI. This Shiny app takes a user inputted phrase, for example, abstract purple minimal, and then generates a Cordo Reveal.js theme. Before you can use this app, you'll need to make sure that you have R and RStudio installed. To be able to push the files to GitHub pages, you'll need to have Git installed, and you'll also need to have a GitHub account. There are two different ways to use the Shiny app to generate the files. The first option is to run the app from shinyapps.io using this link right here. And option B is to run the app locally on your own computer. If you wanna be able to generate images for the slide backgrounds, then you have to run the app locally. This is because generating the images does take several minutes and the app is gonna time out in the browser if you're using the app from shinyapps.io. First, I'll show how to generate the files if you're running the app from shinyapps.io. Start by entering a phrase for the theme, for example, abstract purple minimal, and then you'll need to enter your OpenAI API key. To obtain an OpenAI API key, go to OpenAI's website and make sure that you have an account. You can either create a new account or log in with an existing account. And then once you're logged in, go to dashboard and then API keys, and then click on create new secret key. Give the key a name, create the secret key, and then copy it to your clipboard. Don't share this with anyone else or post it anywhere online. Provide your API key in this box right here. And once you've provided it, the generate my theme button will be clickable. If you're running the app from shinyapps.io, make sure you leave this checkbox unchecked. If you try to check it, you'll see a warning here telling you to uncheck the checkbox. Click on generate my theme and wait while the files are generated. Once the files are all finished being generated, you'll see a message here saying that the theme has been generated successfully and that you can now use the download button. Once the files are ready to be downloaded, the download button will be clickable and you can click on it to download a zip folder. Also note that the generate my theme button will be unclickable after it's been used. So if you wanna generate a new theme, make sure that you refresh the page first. If you wanna be able to generate images as part of your slide theme, then you'll need to download the app from my GitHub and run it locally. You can click the link right here or you can go to github.com slash Melissa Van Bussel slash theme generator to access the code on GitHub. Next, we'll download the zip folder and then unzip the folder. Navigate inside the downloaded folder and then launch the project in RStudio and open up the server.r file. You should see a message at the top of RStudio saying that there are packages that are required but not installed. Click on the install button and wait a moment while the packages are being installed. This project uses rnv, so even if you have the packages installed on your machine, they won't be installed for this specific project. So this step will ensure that the packages get installed in this project directory. It will take a few minutes, but this is a step that you'll only need to do once. You'll be able to run this Shiny app again in the future without having to reinstall all these packages open the ui.r file and repeat the same step. If there are any packages at the top that are required but not installed, then click the install button. Once all the packages have been installed, click on the run app button. From here, the steps are the same as before. Enter your phrase for the theme, enter your OpenAI API key, but this time you can check off the generate images in addition to CSS checkbox if you want to. I'll check it off and then I'll click on generate my theme. This will take a few minutes to run since there are a total of 10 images that have to be generated. In between each image that's generated, the app pauses for 30 seconds to make sure that you don't hit rate limits for the OpenAI API. Once it's finished generating, you can click the download button. And now, regardless of whether you use the app by running it locally, or if you ran it from shinyapps.io, you should have a zip folder that was generated by the app. Go ahead and unzip that folder. Once it's unzipped, open up RStudio and go to File, New Project, 
select existing directory and then browse for the folder that contains the name of the input phrase that you used. Click on open and then create the project. Run rnv init. This is going to update the rnv.log file that GitHub pages will use to install the required R packages for the project. The folder can now be pushed to GitHub and there's a lot of different ways that you can do this, but the way that I usually do it is I create a new repository on GitHub, make sure that the repo is set to public and then leave all the other options as the default. Click on create repository. And then I open git bash and I navigate to the folder that I wanna push. Once I'm in the correct folder, run git init and then copy this part right here, run that, commit all the files and then push them. Once the files have been pushed, add a new branch and call it gh-pages, then go to settings and make sure that the gh-pages branch that you just created is selected under here and that the source says deploy from a branch. If you click on actions and then wait a few minutes for the code to all finish running, once there are all green check marks, click on the pages build and deployment button and then click on the link that you see under deploy. And now you should see the slides. And this is what they look like. Now, if you want to modify the content of the slides, you can change what's in the slides.qmd file, but a small note, make sure you don't change the file name here. So leave it as being called slides.qmd. Otherwise the code that controls how GitHub pages works won't work properly. If you want to change any of the CSS, you can modify the custom.scss file here. And if you end up adding in any new packages that are required for the project, make sure that you use rnv to track them. So if you've added new packages to the project, make sure you run the rnv snapshot function to update the rnv.log file. And if you want to check if the rnv.log file is currently up to date and has all of the necessary information, then you can run the rnv status function.